afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Propaganda Cast State of the Balance with me, your host, Imperial Dane, Master of Propaganda, Hill of Psych, and so on, of course, Lord of Balance stuff. So, what's happened here since the last month? I mean, obviously, we got the whole December Balance preview happening, and that's in a sense having a slight impact on things as people sort of preparing for it. You know, they're getting excited, stuff's happening, and we can sort of see there's a slight impact on strategies. But uh, oh, for a lot of the factions, though, it's sort of, in a sense, still the same. Like, I mean, and some of them are not being exactly pushed into new directions. I mean, like, take the Brits, nothing is particularly changing with the Brits, they're still going for a lot of sections, you know, armoured cars, into tanks, crocodiles very popular at the moment, by the way, so be wonderful for them and have a lot of tanks to deal with them, because the crocodile is tough, at least until it gets nerfed a bit. But beyond that, with the Brits, it's just not really a lot of changes in how they play, and I mean, overall, we look to the chance they're getting, that's good. So, I mean, there's not really much else to say there about the Brits, I know, rather short, but, I mean, you know, might as well, you know, be truthful on the matter, see from my perspective, which is imagine is what people are there for. Again, my perspective on the state of the balance, sort of how things are looking. I mean, again, the Brits just, you know, need some slight changes here and there, and they are getting them, and hopefully they'll, you know, be in a slightly better state in some ways, or at least less cheesy. Moving on to the Americans, I mean, I actually just had a long discussion with the Americans, with Dave, you know, one of the better American players in the game, so one of them interesting to watch and cast. And overall, he at least feels like the Americans are actually in a pretty good spot. There are some things he probably would like to see changed, for example, elite troops being more accessible, cheaper. It feels like at this point they're sort of coming a bit too late, and that would probably help diversify them away from the rifle blobs. And he, to an extent, did agree with me they probably could do some slight nerfing to the rifle, so that way make the rifle blobs less, you know, Impressive because he doesn't think you know just moving the smoke grenades away from the rifle and towards the reactions would actually fix the issue of the American blob. So I mean that's sort of his perspective. He also disagrees on the change to the Jackson. In fact, he thinks the Jackson is pretty good as is. It's just most people aren't using it to its full extent, and he feels like it might actually make it too good by buffing the Jackson right then and there. So. I mean that's definitely an interesting perspective there from Dave, and to an extent I probably agree with him. And uh, there's certainly potential the Jackson could become too good with a change because they basically just made it a really good tank destroyer other than like the health of a tank, a turret, and you know the H wrap rounds. There's definitely potential things could go off the rails there if they're not careful. I mean we'll see, we'll see. I mean Dave could be wrong, I could be wrong, but there's definitely the potential for it there. I mean again he just emphasized just, you know, the sheer utility of the Jackson, how to use it, and he certainly felt like I mean with its current health state and damage and all that, he felt like you know it was in a good spot, so We'll see. But over with the American sort of meta game, there's pretty much, you know, heavy cavalry, armor, some other bits there. There's, and I think, a slight increase in people going for sort of doctrines with light machine guns. But all I know is very much, you know, either lieutenant, captain, BARs, galore, stewards. I mean, steward and captain have actually been catching on a bit more sort of counter German light vehicles, put pressure on them. And the captain just, you know, with BARs is also pretty nasty. BARs is still very much a common thing, and a part of me still thinks that BAR could do with a slight toning down in some ways. Again, to sort of partly see off the blobs there. In particular, once they've burnt enough, nerfing the full scan of DS and some other bits there for the upper commander S, there's definitely, I think, more room for just making that one slightly less uh, overcompensating. But largely, again, the American Light thing, you know, this sort of fine spot. Again, they just need to be slightly encouraged to go in other directions than they currently are. But, I mean, they're all just sort of decent spot. And then we're moving on to the Soviets again. A lot of penal troopers spam. I'm not entirely sure if the nerfs the penal troopers are actually going to be sufficient. They might actually need to nerf them a bit more. So there is that. And they might also be slightly overbuffing the conscripts, to be honest. But I don't know. We'll see about that. There's certainly some more testing needed there. But I mean, again, sort of look for this sort of old meta game right now. It's got, it's, you know, very much the same as well. Lend lease is a lot of the time. A lot of penal troopers, discus. Some will go for Guards Rifleman. I mean, the Guards Rifleman are still pretty good, but they're kind of just being overshadowed by the Penal Troopers, which is sort of the issue. The Penal Troopers just overshadow everything else. I mean, if they can sort of just tone that down a bit, obviously a bit more, I think they could just, you know, make a lot of other units stand up better. But beyond that, I don't think there's sort of any sort of huge change there within the Soviet message game since last time. I mean, again, sort of the same few doctrines, the same few strategies. You know, go for a lot of Penal Troopers, go for T-34s, go for, you know, MCHs. And, you know, try and destroy your opponent. I mean, there's just not much happening there because there's not much need for it. Because overall, it's very much, you know, one size fits all strategy. And obviously, there's players going for conscripts for some machine guns and other things. And they'll probably catch on more as the patch approaches, as people want to make ready for it. But at the same time, there's not really a huge incentive to, until then, really sort of, you know, innovate or experiment. So it's a bit more tricky to say with that. Moving on to the Oberkommando Vest. 
I mean, similarly, you know, to the search, there's not really much an incentive to change, partly because we get the other units aren't to that extent that great. So, I mean, it's very much just full skin into spam, a Kubel spam, into Luxus, into some other spam, and then maybe into King Tiger of Panda 4. The overall changes there should do a lot to diversify the Orbital Commander Best strategy, so they do feel like they might need to buff up a few other things to make them slightly more viable a bit further, but there should definitely be just less cheesy strategies out of the Orbital Commander Best, which is going to be, you know, pretty good. And finally, moving on to the Valmont, I mean, again, there's definitely some changes there again in preparation. I mean, we're seeing more players going for Jaeger Infantry as a doctrine, but we're also just seeing more players trying out Tier 4 again, you know. I mean, that's basically the same thing with the last balance preview before that got, you know, put on ice. There were a lot more players, you know, just trying out Panthers, trying out Sturm Panthers. And we've seen the same, you know, pattern again, you know, as Panthers are suddenly looking to become more viable, more accessible for the Vermont, more players are now pushing for the Vermont, trying them out there. So, I mean, if the patch actually goes through, I mean, we'll probably see more Vermont Panthers because people want to play them. It's just, in many cases, it's not a viable option. So, I mean, that's definitely something to keep in mind out for, you know, again. I mean, you don't have to be particularly threatened, of course, you could be caught off guard by it. But, I mean, it's not like a really viable choice. And it might become, you know, real better, but I'm still not entirely sure the Valmark late game is good enough. And I still feel like they might need to look at some of the Valmark's, you know, abilities for the tanks, like Blitzkrieg abilities, you know, touch them up a bit, maybe make them a bit better, who knows. Oh, I you know, a lot of Grenadiers, Panzer Grenadiers still sort of swinging back and forth in utility. Some will go for them, some will not. Then, of course, the argument that Panzer Grenadiers could need perhaps something a bit extra there. And half tracks are still popular with flamethrowers. Occasionally, even some without there, which is quite interesting to note. The foot person is still like maybe a suppressive fire ability for the half tracks, or maybe as a veteran to one ability just to give it a bit more utility. But overall, I mean, the very much strategy still tends to branch out in some ways. Tigers are used by some, others just mostly relying on Panther Force. I mean, that's pretty much for the common strategy. You know, go some infantry, maybe take up for packs, maybe some other bits, and then, you know, go for Panther Force and try to destroy your opponents. Dukes, Ospens also see some play. But overall, I mean, there's not been otherwise besides that huge changes. I mean, again, most of them happening with the Valmark in anticipation, because, again, Valmark players want to be able to play more stuff, but kind of not rewarded for it. So, I mean, if that sort of, you know, again, goes through, I mean, there'll probably be sort of more to happen. But overall, it's just sort of been, in that sense, rather quiet in just terms of how the, the state of the balance is. I mean, it's nothing's changed yet, and overall, things aren't shifting massively until, you know, they actually sort of happen. So that's sort of the state of the balance for this month, just with a bit of input there with Dave, since I asked him what his thoughts on the December balance PO was when I had the chance, and, you know, we had a longer chat about it. And again, it was very interesting, very insightful there. To get another perspective on the USF. And I think since he's one that plays it the most, and certainly also puts the most uses of it, like, you know, using supervise and the actual abilities on different units and so much smoke, you know, I mean, his perspective, you know, if you, you know, said, you know, the USF actually you need all these buffs, I'd be, you know, pretty inclined to listen. But he actually said the USF was largely fine, so, you know, it was interesting to get, you know, my opinion on that validated. Well, anyways. Thank you all for joining in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, you subscribe, like, share, and comment. And of course, if you'd like to do, do consider donating or pledging on Patreon. Cheers.